2 on ESPN2. Welcome back to the Kingdom, Art Ekman, David Bailey, Davey Coombs, as we're taking a look at the future superstars of this sport in the 125 West, right here at the Kingdom, and it is Villeman, eight seconds out in front. Villeman is already into the whoops on this side. You're seeing Pingree, number 29, who has just moved back to fifth position. Battling with Ramsey in sixth. So it's Villeman, McCormick, Brancata, Dowd, Pingree, and Ramsey. That is our top six order. Well, this is where the battle is. The guys out front, pretty strung out, are running a fast pace. McCormick is, looks to me like he's a little bit on the edge trying to catch Villeman. Over the triple, Pingree getting harder and harder to do. Those ruts are getting deeper. The front face of these jumps looks like a comb as you head up. And when you land, you got to land in another rut. The balance it takes is unbelievable. Here's our leader, Billiman, through the whoops up to the finish line. Uh, it seems like so this track, David Bailey, is perfect for his style. He likes ruts. He doesn't steer away from them. He can time the jumps and the whoops. So beautifully. He seems to like the hard pack too, like last week. So I don't know if this guy has a weakness. Here's our Honda stopwatch. Let's check out the interval now and see what his lead might be over the second place rider. It's about eight seconds. And it hasn't changed too much. And Roncada's starting to close that gap. Make it a race for second. John Dowd about six, 14, 15 seconds back. John comes on strong at the end though. Villeman simply dominating this 125 Western scene. He's led 29 of the 45 laps coming into this race. And winning two of the three last. Roncata and McCormick. It's Roncata now moving into second over the native favorite here in the state of Washington. Three laps to go. And McCormick hold on to a podium position. Here's our leader. Watch him through here. We'll get a lap time on him. Hopping through those loops. Under a minute. Unbelievable. 57 seconds is what the 250s have been running. And we reiterate, the schedule looks like he will be able now to attend all of the 125 Western events. So he is definitely going to stick around for a points race. It does not conflict now with his GP schedule in Europe or around the world. Here's Stefan Roncata. He's dedicated himself to American Supercross. Well, these guys are really coming over here and making a statement. The French want to do so well in the United States. They want to get out from underneath that image that Bale had when he's here. All of them very friendly, trying so hard to make a statement. They come over here, learn our language, and now they're starting to take all the spots on the podium, too. Ron Cotta riding a fantastic race, making the move on McCormick just a lap ago. You know, you get the thought that if Ron Cotta got a decent start, he'd be right up there with Bill. I think so, but actually the start wasn't too bad. But in that first couple of laps, Villeman is so sharp, he's able to make moves, much like we used to see Jeremy do. If he didn't get the best start, he still made those first couple of laps really count. McCormick trying to hold on. There goes Doughty. And Dowd moving in front of McCormick now, sending McCormick back to fourth. I think what happened, Art, was McCormick got right into second. You could see he was riding so aggressive, tried to stay with Villeman and burned himself out a little bit. But I admire that. He put it all on the line, he gave it everything he had, and so now he knows that maybe he needs to be a little bit more fit. Down in the final two laps, and McCormick still can get his best finish of the year. He finished fifth in Los Angeles. We're down to the final lap now, as Villeman already hustled over the finish line jump while we were speaking. Just on the opposite side of that straightaway, you see the flags go out. Danny Smith going down off the triple. Here comes Villeman. He'll be they forced get the to... bike out of the way just in time. They wouldn't let him jump the triple. They got the Red Cross flag out. That means no jumping with a rider in danger. Villeman, though, he's got so far, to... so much of a lead. Good job, baby. It's there... not in French. There's still a chance. John Dowd battling with McCormick. That pace is really picked up. They're closing on Whoa. Ronkata. See 
Roncada just ahead. They're closing fast. Billabit's mechanic is Wayne Smith, incidentally, his American mechanic. He has another mechanic, but he goes to Europe. 9.34. The checkers again. The third straight victory for Villamon. His fourth career victory, winning here in Seattle last year. And Yamaha has three consecutive 125 wins in Seattle. Villamon, Roncada, Dowd, McCormick. A terrific fourth place finish. And, and Pingree rounding out the top five. We will be right back to the kingdom with four words from the Frenchman learning English. Is a new career in your future? Call Motorcycle Mechanics Institute today and get on the fast track to success. MMI graduate and Harley-Davidson service manager Randall Richards knows what it takes. When I'm looking to hire new technicians, I need to find somebody who has a broad background.